Glitz, glamour, and a little fun were all out in full force tonight for the second annual Dancing with the Stars Marquette County Style. Eight couples have been practicing for three months and were finally able to show off their dance moves in front of a sold out crowd at the Forest Roberts Theater. Some dancers were a little nervous to dance on a big crowd, but knew it was all for a good cause. It's a fantastic cause. It touches the lives of many people, and it's really uh, important to throw support in their direction because they make a difference in a lot of people's lives. So, and that's what the, really what the bottom line is. As far as dancing and getting a little nervous here or there, I mean, it, it's it's nothing compared to what those people do every day. UP Home Health and Hospice added a live stream aspect to the show this year, as well as giving couples little challenges like teaching a stranger on the street to dance to help raise awareness for hospice and the event. This event, we kick it off at the end of February. People are following their favorite couples, their friends, family, coworkers over several months. So with the challenges we've been giving and then just the updates on the voting scores, it really keeps the whole community engaged throughout the whole event. So even though tonight is the official night, it's really like people for three months are enjoying a big performance. The level of support by this community is fantastic and I've, we all know that about this community it's a very special community we come together on important topics last year we knew that we just wanted to do it and get the message out about what hospice is and the make a memory program and we ended up raising $25,000 we were kind of blown away by that we are looking at doubling or even tripling this number this year this year's Mirrorball Trophy goes to Stephanie Zadroga Langlois and Annie Langlois who danced the Paso Doble and Britta and Phil Pinnell won the fan favorite award.